Why are we even elevating the foot? Why can't the foot be at the same level of the edge of the immature center? You get in the center of the eye. Okay. You guys remember the divergent beam? If the foot was at the same level as the edge of the cassette, the divergence of the beam is going to go throw the foot off the image receptor. So we elevate them. All right. So with a horizontal beam, we have a, uh, a block that we use to elevate them. We're going to do this one at a time. Okay. It's just like, like a lateral foot. Okay. You're going to center at the uh, base of the, the metatarsal to include both toes and the heel. And again, we're evaluating the longitudinal arches of the foot. Also done bilaterally, okay? Why do we do it bilaterally? To see if they're the same. Okay, yeah, for comparison. For comparison, okay. Um, because you're doing, uh, doing both feet, make sure that you are using your, uh, the correct anatomical markers. So bilateral feet are both demonstrated, phalanges and metatarsals, very similar to that, the criteria of your APs and your lateral foot, same criteria, okay? Any questions? Okay, the calcaneus, the calcaneus, two projections. First one here is the plantodorsal or axial heel, plantodorsal or axial heel. Remember, your heel is superimposed by other structures. So for us to get a true AP, we're going to shoot it from the bottom up, or bottom back. Place the patient flat on the table, heel on the image receptor. You need complete dorsiflexion of the foot. So you have to have complete dorsiflexion of the foot with the toes pointing upwards. Avoiding any rotation of the foot medially or laterally it has to be pointed straight up. So the foot has to be perpendicular with the image receptor with dorsiflexion. You're going to use an angulation of 40 degrees cephalid, okay, cephalid, and central radius at the base of the third metatarsal to emerge on the backside between your tibia and your fibula. Talking about here your malleoli. Okay. Now, question is when you're looking at this, well, here's the heel. Why isn't the heel here in the middle of the image receptor? Why is it over here at the edge of the image receptor? Because the angle's gonna push it back. Again, because of the angle, it's gonna it's gonna throw the image back towards this edge of the image receptor. So when placing the heel on the image receptor, place it towards the bottom edge. It will project it towards, the, once, you, once you take the x-ray, it's going to project the heel towards the middle of your image receptor, like so, okay? Now, I was reviewing the slides yesterday, and I think it was also mislabeled. Um, I think you guys have here cuboid. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not cuboid, that's your fibula. Okay, so change that. So this is pointing to the fibula. Your cuboid, I don't know why it's a cuboid. The cuboid is up here somewhere, which you can't see because of the dense part of the foot. Okay. So now we have here the entire calcaneus is visualized with no rotation. Uh, this view is also very good in demonstrating the tuberosity of the fifth. If you have a good penetrated radiograph, you should also be able to see the talocalcaneal joint. Okay, but it has to be well penetrated, otherwise you can't see that joint space. Okay, and then the one bone that protrudes off to the side is your system taculum uh, cali. Okay, any questions here? So did you guys fix this? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not the keyboard, it's the fibula. All right. Lateral heel, medial lateral projection. 
We're only looking at the heel, so you don't need to open up your collimator as, you don't need to open it up to the size that the miniature set, you're just the heel. But you want to collimate it to include what's anterior to the heel, okay, and what's superior to the heel. So include your ankle joints and also parts of the uh, tarsal bones, other tarsal bones. Central ray is going to be directed one inch just below, one inch just below the medial malleolus. Again, open up your collimator to include the, your ankle joint, and then uh, parts of your other parts of your other uh, tarsal bones. All right, any questions here? All right, ankle. Routine views for ankle is going to be AP. The AP mortis is generally a special view; it's not part of the routine. And then you have your oblique and your lateral. So in performing the AP ankle, you're going to have dorsiflexion of the foot. Now, not everybody can do a dorsiflexion, but you want to get the toes upright as much as possible. You're going to rotate your foot so that it's completely perpendicular with the image receptor. Not like this, not like this, toes pointed up for a true AP. Central ray is going to be directed between the two malleoli. True malleoli. Um, who's back there? Who's the one with the hat? Jason, can you grab me a foot? No, grab Alex's foot. <laughs> then I'm just kidding. No, grab me a foot. Not if he doesn't have a Oh, you got it? <laughs> I thought, I thought he was going to go and grab his foot for real. Ah, <laughs> uh, that'll be fine, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Good. All right. So when we're taking x-rays, remember there's a difference between taking an x-ray of a foot and taking an x-ray of an ankle. This is not the proper way to take an x-ray of the ankle because your ankle is perpendicular to the Oh. <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> okay, so you can't take an ankle an ankle this way. This is how you would do a foot. Okay? To do an ankle, you don't do it like this, you do it like this. Okay, this is a common mistake when you guys are doing your um, your radiographs of your phantoms. Okay? So this is the foot, plantar surface down. An ankle is plantar surface perpendicular to the image receptor, okay? So for the ankle, true AP, toes up. Central ray is gonna be between the, uh, your, the malleoli, okay? In, uh, open up your collimator up and down to include the distal third, the distal third of your tip fib, okay? Distal third of the tip fib. So the proximal half of the metatarsals are also going to be included. And then the middle and upper portion of the ankle joint are, are going to be demonstrated. Now in a true AP, remember in a true AP, there is going to be slight superimposition of the fibula with the tibia and the callus. Okay, slight superimposition. Okay? So it's only going to be the upper portion and the medial portion of the joint that's open. The upper portion and the medial portion that's open. Now if I wanted to open up the joint space, what am I going to do? The mortise. The mortise. And what was that angulation or rotation? Approximately what? 15 degrees, right? Approximately 15 degrees, medial rotation. All right? So it's just a slight obliquity. Um, the intermalleolar line is going to be parallel with the image receptor. Okay, that's what it's talking about here is when you properly rotate the uh, foot 
about 15, uh, 15 to uh, 15 degrees, the plane between these two angles here should be parallel with the image receptor. There's one malleolite right here. So it's almost it. like the epicondyles, right? Yeah, exactly. So in a true AP, it's like this. We rotate it 15 degrees, it now becomes parallel with the image receptor. Okay? Hi. So now when you do so, yes, we're doing fine. So when you do that, now you're opening up the joint space, okay, here, and you're opening up the joint space here, and now you see this socket-like image of the talus. That opens up the joint spaces, okay? Questions here. So if I hang up two AP projections of the ankle, would you be able to tell me which is true AP and which is Mortise? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. 45 degree oblique foot. 45 degree oblique ankle. I'm sorry. 45 degree oblique ankle. So we know what 45 degrees is, right? Mm -hmm. Here's 90, here's 180, somewhere between here, okay? 45 degrees. Same concept here, you're gonna do a medial rotation. It's not external, it's medial. It's a medial rotation. And again, central ray is gonna be directed between the malleoli. Your collimation should include a third, this distal third of your tip fib, and then also your metatarsals. Now, I want to go back here, this is a slight nuance. When you're doing the ankle, medial, uh, medial oblique ankle, you're, trying, you're dorsiflexing in the, in the AP, right? When you're doing the oblique, now the foot may be relaxed. They don't keep that, they don't keep that dorsiflexion. So you have the option, and there's nothing wrong with that. You can either keep it dorsiflex, or you can have the foot in a relaxed position. And you will see some variances. We'll see some variances out there with the text, yes. What are those black dots on the malleolus? That's, that's the malleolus. She's showing you where the malleolus is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, I figured it was something to grab. Oh, no, no. It's just, they're just markers to show you where the malleolus is. Yes? Is that really help the malleolus to make sure our angles are correct? Mm-hmm. Oh, you, like no, no. Combat? What you're looking at, you're just looking here at the, the foot, the surface of the foot. Putting the foot 45 degrees. Okay. Yeah, you're not really feeling or looking at the malleola, you're looking at the foot. Okay. Actually, that's a good question, okay? So you're putting the foot in a 45 degree angle. All right? Any questions here? All right, so what do we have going on here? So AP, slight different position, here and here. Mortis open here and here, you see the full cup. And in a 45 degree angulation, um, you're gonna have complete, you're gonna have complete opening of the, I forgot what they call this. Is tip the fib, tip fib joint? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Tibiofibular joint. Tibiofibular joint? Is mm -hmm. it fibular or tibular? Nothing is tibial. Tibiofibular? Okay. We'll, we'll go with what Nick said. Okay. It's going to open up the yeah. joint space. I'll, I'll cut that part out of the video. If you get that wrong on our quiz, it's your fault. <laughs> yeah. We'll go with that. I like that. That sounds right. The book says tibiofibular. All right. Good job, Nick. All right. <laughs> All right. Any questions? Would you be so lovely as those three images are intense and after persistent. Could I be so lovely? <laughs> well, he's, so he's always lovely. lovely. <laughs> like that. Maybe. I'll think about he it. Will. He totally would. <laughs> yeah, I'll think about it. Yeah, he will. <laughs> okay, lateral ankle. It is more easier to do a medial lateral, again, frog leg, knee out than having to do with the lateral medial. This is just this is just harder to do. Okay? 
And when you do it this way, also what happens is that because you got one knee on top of the other, it elevates the uh, proximal tip fib, causing this area to foreshorten, so you're not gonna get a good visualization of that area. So medial lateral is the more easier position to do, okay? Now when you're doing a medial lateral, again, important that you dorsiflex the foot. Okay, so you're dorsiflexing the foot. You may or may not have to elevate the foot because again, what we're looking at here is the plantar surface of the foot, making sure that it is perpendicular with the image receptor, no rotation. So the surface has to be perpendicular with the image receptor, okay? Uh, central ray center to the medial malleolus. Okay, that's what the dot is there for. To show you where it is. <laughs> And I don't know if they're actually stickers. I think it's some kind of uh, computer generated dot. Doesn't matter. Okay, so center, uh, central is directed to the medial malleolus. Now, if we were doing the alternate lateral medial, it's gonna be centered where? Lateral malleolus. To the lateral malleolus, okay. The entire talus and calcaneus are going to be visualized. Your entire talus and calcaneus is gonna be visualized. The lateral malleolus is superimposed the posterior half of the tibia. The lateral malleolus is going to be superimposed over the tibia. It's also going to project where? More inferiorly. Very good, okay? Very good. Okay, which radiograph, A or B, is of higher quality? A is more contrast. B. B. Okay, B is better, right? This is more contrasting, which is good, but it's not position proper. So you want dorsiflexion, and the criteria of doing an ankle is you also want to include the heel. So don't chop off the heel. This is going to be part of your uh, collimation critique, is making sure that the heel was not cut off. Okay, so I like B. Although, contrast-wise, I probably would have chosen A. But it's, it's not positioned correctly. Okay. Does it look like it's oblique a little bit too? But you should sub you should sub um, some superposition here, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not. So this is not in a true lateral. All right. AP stress tests. You have right, we're looking at the the joint space. <laughs> of the Mortise. So you will have somebody physically causing the stress okay, to accomplish the eversion and eversion stress. Valgus and Varus. Who, who, would do that? who would do that? Not you. I know, but who? It's going to be either a technologist or the doctor. So someone actually holds while they Right. Think. Now you guys know as students you're not supposed to hold. That's mm -hmm. why I said that. It wouldn't be you. Did you guys know that? Mm -hmm. yeah. No but, holding it when you're a student. But once we're at tech? Once you're tech, then you would do it. Yes? So even if they tell us, oh, it's okay. <laughs> Pardon me? Even if they tell us, oh, it's okay. Like on our clinical science, they there. won't tell us to hold it, right? Oh, no, they shouldn't. Yeah, they shouldn't tell you to hold it. Are you saying if yeah. they do? If they do, then you, you say you can't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they, they know. They know they shouldn't be asking you. All right. So, leg gloves causing the stress, take the x-rays. Um, and if, you're, if you are the one holding, let's just say if you're a technologist and you're the one holding, you're gonna wear leather gloves, and what are you gonna do with your face? Turn away. You're gonna turn away, turn your neck away, okay? Because we don't want all that scatter hitting your eyes and your throat. So this is to well, evaluate the joint space again? Right. We're looking for any type of uh, damage to the, the ligament area. Oh, okay. Kind of like the AC joint, oh, okay? okay? So. There may, be, there may not be any fracture, but there may be a separation, and we need to uh, cause stress to it to see if there's any type of separation of those joints, okay? Now again, if a patient can't do it, they can't do it, so you shouldn't be causing unwanted stress. Uh, the doctor will evaluate the position uh, of the patient to see if they are um, candidates for performing these type of procedures, okay? Now, with that said, they don't do a lot of this in x-ray anymore, where do you think it's done? I mean, if we're looking at the, the, the ligaments, the tendons, it's either gonna be done CT or MRI. We wouldn't 
do something like this. But remember the insurance game. They're going to do something like this first before they would do more of the advanced studies. Okay. So AP ankle with neutral position. Here we have E version. E version. This is towards the lateral side. Uh, no damage to the medial ligament is indicated. Here, inversion, change in joint and rupture of lateral ligaments are demonstrated by where the air was pointing. So there is an obvious separation in that area. Okay? All right, we're done.